Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect Sally Prime to server in 2024. So today, we're diving into the process of connecting Sally Prime to a server, enabling you to centralize your Sally data and facilitate collaborations among multiple users. So stick around us as I guide you through the steps-by-step -step process of connecting Sally Prime to a server in 2024. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, before even connecting like your server or your Sally Prime, if you have Sally Prime downloaded in your PC, just go and open it up. If you don't, you'll have to go to whatever browser you're going to use to follow the tutorial steps with or to download it with. For me here, I'm going to use Brave. And of course, in your case, it could be any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, basically just go to this URL section. Here, make sure to type Tally Prime and hit the enter button. This should take you here. Click on download the first link. And first of all, if you want to go to the home screen, click in here and read any information that you want about Tally Prime if you don't know nothing about this website. You can even get a free demo if you want to by filling up some informations here and get it. Of course, if you don't have a license, click first of all on buy now. Make sure to select just the Tally Prime and buy the silver if you're going to use it on one PC. If you want it for multiple PC, you'll have to buy gold. For Canada, make sure to select your country from here as an example. So maybe you are a United Kingdom, whatever it is, the price might change. So once you click on buy now and buy it, of course, fill up your information, card information, buy it, then you can click on download and download Tally Prime. Follow the on screen uh, instructions to install it into your PC. Once it's installed, you'll be able to go and open it up into. So you'll be able to open it up into your PC. So let me just go here and open it up. Of course, let me just wait until it's opened. It should not take a lot of time. So once it's opened, as you can see, you have four options in here. Make sure to activate your license if you have buy one. And if you, uh, you can reactivate the existing license, you can use the license from network or you can continue the educational mode, which, is our, which I will use in this video. Of course, for you, make sure to activate your license because educational mode does not have a lot of features. So first of all, if you don't have a company yet, just go and click on company, click on create. And in here as example, make sure to fill up your company name, mailing name, address, state, where it's located, the country also, the pin code, the telephone, mobile, fax, email, website the financial year beginning from the date of that and the book beginning from the date of that then the base currency symbol then the format name then hit the enter and click on yes for me i'll just go and quit that because i already have one in here and as we said before before connecting like tile prime to server ensure that you have dedicated server setup and configured and the server will host your tally data and facilitates the access for multiple users. Make sure to consult with your IT administrator to set up the server according to your requirements. So you will have, other than that, go back in here. Let me just go back to Tally Prime, go to download, click on buy now. Make sure that you buy the server or Tally Prime server. As you can see, for medium and large enterprise, Tally Prime server works with Tally Prime Gold license. Without this, as you can see, it's a bit expensive, so you'll have to contact the support to buy it. You will not be able to buy it just randomly as just a license. So make sure to download and install the server also on your designated server machine. The specialized version of Sally Prime is designed to host Sally Data to facilitate multi-user access and you will have to follow the installation instructions uh, provided by Tally Solutions. And once Tally Prime Server Edition is installed, you will have to configure the server settings to optimize the performance and security. This may include setting up user permissions, defining data path, and configuring backup options. So make sure to consult with Tally Prime Server documentation for detailed guidance on server uh, configuration. 
Of course, on the client machine, where Tally Prime will be accessed, install the Tally Prime Client Edition. During the installation process, specify the server details to establish the connection between the client and the server. Ensure that the server name or IP address is correctly entered. And after installing Tally Prime Client Edition, launch the software and attempt to connect to the server. If the connection is successful, you should be able to access the Tally data stored on the server and perform transactions as needed. Make sure to verify all the users can access the server without issues. Of course, and then you will have to test the multi-user functionality to ensure that the server setup is working correctly. You will have to perform tests with multiple users accessing Tally Prime simultaneously. This will help identify any potential issues with the server performance or user access permissions. Once the server connection is established, implement robust data backup and security measures to protect your Tally data regularly and you make sure to regularly backup your Tally data stored on the server to prevent loss in care of hardware failures or other emergencies. Implement access controls and encryptions to safeguard sens sensitive financial information. And how to connect to it, basically just go to your Tally Prime. You can, of course, connect to the company right here. Click on connect. As an example, for me, I cannot use indicational mode. You can even like uh, remote access, as an example, uh, online access. You'll be able to do a lot of other stuff. Uh, connecting to it is very easy. So you'll basically have in the, in, in the administration, go to manage server. And of course, you will go to data location and simply connect from that to the specific server that you just buy. And it's going to be very simple. Of course, if you have a question or you get lost in this, you can always go here to help and go to the Tally support or Tally help or Tally solution, which will help you a lot during this even much better than I will. So there you have it. You successfully learned how to connect Tally Prime to a server in 2024, enabling you to centralize the data management and multi-user access. So if you have any questions or, there's, uh, or you encounter any challenges during the setup process, don't hesitate to consult Tally Solutions, support resources, or seek assistance from your IT administrator. Of course, if you uh, like, if you have a specific question or there's a specific topic that you'd like me to cover in the next tutorial, just drop it down below in the comment section. I'll try to do it as soon as possible. So happy Tally, and I'll see you in the next video. So goodbye.